Tonight, the FBI continues its criminal investigation into the Baltimore Bridge collapse. The agency launching the probe to find out what the cargo ship's crew knew leading up to its crash into the bridge. It comes as the body of the fourth missing construction worker is recovered. NBC's Tom Casello has more. Photos from the Washington Post capturing FBI agents climbing up the side of the massive container ship Dolly, executing a search warrant. The ship still trapped in the wreckage of the Francis Scott Key Bridge a month after the ship crashed into the bridge at 1.30 a.m. Late Monday, word that a fourth body has been recovered. Law enforcement sources tell NBC News the FBI is focused on whether any member of the crew had prior knowledge of the ship's mechanical problems that would make it unsafe. Maritime law attorney James Power. We understand the crew still aboard, so they'll interview the crew. They'll probably, I would, I would assume, coordinate with the notes of the Coast Guard and the NTSB for any investigations. The NTSB tells NBC News its investigators are looking into reports that alarms were going off on the ship while it was still in port, suggesting a potential power problem before the ship left port. They needed the assistance of Hyundai, who is the manufacturer of equipment in the engine room, to download data from the electrical power system and look at the circuit breakers. Attorneys for two of the bridge repair workers who died and one survivor say the men were sitting in their cars on a break when they were suddenly thrown into the water below without warning. Two remain missing. Baltimore has temporarily lost a bridge. But six families have permanently lost irreplaceable loved ones. The mayor of Baltimore now promising legal action against the ship's owner, the manufacturer, and operator. But the owner and manager have already invoked a law dating back to 1851 that limits their liability only to the value of the damaged ship, not the victim's families or the destroyed bridge. This law was used to protect the owner of the Titanic. That's how ridiculous this is. And that was Tom Costello reporting. There is an exception to that 173-year-old law, and that's if the owner knew the ship had problems before it left port. We're also learning a man who survived falling off the bridge in his truck into the freezing water doesn't swim. He says he rolled down the windows, climbed out, and then clung to a piece of metal until he was rescued. Thankfully, his car didn't have electric windows.